Alrighty then, the one subcom game for the night. I am on the front and I am Aeon, and that is somewhat unfortunate, but hopefully I can make things work. So speaking of the build orders that I was just talking about, I'm going factory first. And uh, I am going to build an engineer, which is going to come over here, and I'm actually going to put it on repeat build for engineers, because I'm going to need quite a few of them as I spread out across the map. And let's see here, I'm going to rebalance this because I am coming from a different game and this volume is drastically different than the one that I was just using. And oh no, I forgot to queue. Ugh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, Go mid after factory. Why though? All right, I'm going. Whatever, I don't want my teammate to die. There's not that much mass in the middle. Like, it's not that critical that you get there. But if he's gonna go up there, I don't want to lose a teammate, so I'm gonna go too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to build an air factory for myself because I don't want to die. We're gonna queue him. Actually, I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna build a mass extractor and then assist that. We're gonna get early upgrades and I'm going to start land spam closer to the front. So I'm gonna get hydro here. Then I'm gonna go mass extractor, mass extractor, mass extractor. I'm gonna queue an engineer here to reclaim these rocks. And then I'm gonna start building land factories across here to send units north. My teammate should be spreading out in this direction. So hopefully he will get things under control. And then with the reclaim that comes in right here, I'm going to get an extremely early T2 mass extractor upgrade. And uh, that will help out with economy later on in the game. So right now I am at 54 mass per tick, which should theoretically be enough to go ahead and start this. And I am biting into mass. It will shortly be much more mass. So I'm going to go ahead and get a head start. So the goal for getting up to the front is to try to snatch these large boulders and get as much reclaim as possible before the enemy team gets there. And on a lot of maps, that's an extremely good idea, and you can get a pile of reclaim. But uh, on this particular map, I don't think it's quite as strong because the reclaim isn't as concentrated. you got some 75 mass boulders, but other than that, it's not really that big of a deal. And there's a lot of mass that's in the back, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out how it goes. I'm just going to patrol. It does not look like the other ACUs are coming to the front quite yet. So I'm going to get my second T2 mass extractor upgrade. And we're going to take three of you and start building a load of land factories. Actually, no, we're only going to take two. And you are going to come up here and start reclaiming all this stuff. I hear a lab. Lab is over here. He is our lab, so he is good lab. I will not complain about this thing. Alright, so you, my friends, are going to go up here and get that and patrol. And you are going to go up here and get this and patrol. I need to get that because he is now in range to cause some shenanigans. I need to get as many of these large rock clumps as I possibly can. Oh, there he is. Alright. And this is why you don't go to front. Crap. Commander under attack. Oh, that's that. <laughs> Alright, he's breaking off. He's breaking off. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, it's not my fault. Not my fault. Okay, we are going to grab tanks and move to the front. So basically, I am going to have to try to interfere with pathfinding with some tanks. And that's pretty much the only chance I got. 
Oh, he is just coming for it. Walking right in, they are going full on suicide mode. So I gotta try to trip up his pathfinding and maybe I can do it. Come on. Come on. All right, we're good, we're good. So we are going to grab the gun upgrade. Come on guys, we need some assistance on this. You are gonna build a couple of energy storages. We are just gonna go hardcore upgrade for a second. So this is gonna double my damage output and it will help protect me when units start coming in. I also need to start threading in some scouts, quite a few scouts actually. Nice. Okay, so that almost ended disastrously, but thankfully Cabal was able to come and save my butt. And I am now going to save his butt because he was about to get forced out of an upgrade. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, they're just going for the gun upgrade. Really, dude? Really? That's how you're going to play this? Alright, so we are going to attack me then. Which should let us outrange everything. Then we're going to go for our other gun upgrade. Which will let us kite pretty much anything we want to. Did you finish your upgrade? I don't know if he actually finished his upgrade. That could be super bad if he did not. Please don't go in there unassisted purple. Yeah, so that's all artillery, which should make it pretty easy for me to deal with as far as auroras go. Oh, he sees that that is my commander. That's a problem. He's just trying to get extra damage in. No, 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 no. Back up. He's gonna force me out of it. Crap! That is not good at all. He saw that I was getting that upgrade and just said, nope, we're not having any of that. Sorry. 400 HP. Ick. Ick, I say. All right, we got pressed back really freaking hard. So things might not be easy from here out, but I will try my bestest to make this work. I am under a thousand HP, which is not a good sign. Like three T1 bombers could kill me right now. There is an ACU with a gun upgrade, so also not great. But I am almost done with my gun upgrade. And as long as I don't get in range of him, I can make this work. All right, so you guys are all gonna come over here and build me another radar so that I can keep tabs on what's going on. That's probably T2 and gun. So all of you are gonna come over here. We're gonna use the meat, the factories as meat shields. And I'm gonna try to keep clear of all of my units, which are doing exactly what I don't want them to do right now. Which is clog up my commander's pathfinding. Stop. Okay, so you are building Auroras, good deal. There's my overcharge. Oh crap. Run!
Okay, so I am at 600 HP. This is not a good place to be by any means. Oh! Oh! Ultra Noob might have overstepped. Nice! Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him! Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, beautiful! I need to get out and safe now. Because that was too close. Too close. Um, you guys, let's assist, and we are going for shield. Because that is going to give us the HP that we need to survive. Okay, uh, let's move up to the north. That was very nearly the death of me. And I think I might actually be able to get my shield upgrade in one go, thanks to all of that extra power storage. Nice! So beautiful. I'm going to go get the mass extractor up here, and then I'm going to try to get a little reclaim, see what happens. Um, this looks well in hand, so I'm going to move up to the north, and we're going to punch through on this side. So the guy who died was right here. So that means that this entire side is going to be opened up and blue is going to have to make up the difference. Uh, gray is currently spread pretty well. There's T2 point defense going down over here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start congregating units right here. Oh, there it is. Tax. Tax in the air. Fraptastic. Um, uh, yeah, that's not what we want to see happening. I'm gonna move as soon as this shield upgrade is done. At least I have plenty of forewarning. I don't see any... Oh, thank goodness. I was about to say, I don't see any attacks headed directly towards me. So that's good. I didn't even get a vet off of that. Really? Really now? Well, that attack missile launcher is going to be relatively useless. And I am minus 32. Let's go get some reclaim. Because I got to make ends meet. Roll in, roll in, and roll in, roll in. I got plenty of power, so we're just going to finish this gen. Actually, no. We're going to reclaim this gen. Because then it will be by itself and not in a line, and that is not how we do things around here. I'm going to go venture up to the front again. We're going to see how this goes. Ha! Ha! You can't hit me! Because I have a good teammate that built defense. Because I was a retard and did not. Actually, I was too busy trying not to die to go in and build defense. Okay, so I've got 10,000 total HP, which is not that great. But he only has one T2 point defense, which is also not great. So I think I'm going to brave it. I should also start threading in some anti-air, now that I think about it. I'm going to build a radar right here. Oh, come on. The one that wasn't in coverage. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go kill it. I'm going to have to go kill it because I can't let that stand. No siree, not one bit. I'm going to move up over here. see how much range I can get out on this thing. Overcharge! Come on, give me nine. Give me nine! 
Can you do it? Boom! Well, there were eight anyway. I just realized that he might actually try to attack Missile Man Commander. So I should probably walk back and forth. Yeah, I'm gonna do that thing. Um. Okay, so now we can go in. Dodge the Oblivion Torts. Not that big of a deal. What are you screaming in all caps about? So we need to kill that ASAP. There we go. Got a clear shot now. Another T1 down. The other advantage of loads of energy storage is you can definitely overcharge to the max. All right, so the front end is white. I'm gonna bring everybody up here. Go over here, we can, might be able to overcharge a few of these T2 units, but like he said, there is a possibility of an air snipe, so, um, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's uh, do that. We're gonna build a volcano. You are going to build flak and mobile shields. That is what we're going to get out of you. And I thought that I had... Oh! I re all of my engineers. Or my factory that was building engineers to build other things. So now there's nobody up front reclaiming. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, nice. Very nice. Build that. Overcharges are awesome things. Another over. Now if only I can get two. There it is. Three! Three! Give me three! Oh, sweet. Two vets on that ACU. Oh, oh, that could be bad. Terminal, please get out. Thank you. T3 Air and a GC. That is a GC. But it's only just begun to be built. Let's swarm it! Kill that one easily. Kill the other. I think I got blue. Yes, yes you do. Get those oblivions, or obsidians rather. Nice. He's just lining them up in stacks to get overcharged. I'm gonna have a lot of mobile shields with me. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, those are quite a few T2 tanks. I'm gonna back up a little. I'm gonna back up a little. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. As long as you're getting doubles, your overcharges will vet you up extremely quickly. I am back at full health and four veterancy. I'm so fancy. 
You already know. Okay, so GC is definitely going to be a very large problem to deal with. So we are going to have to come up with a different kind of solution. And I think that solution is going to involve Harbingers. We should be able to run from that GC pretty easily. So, oh, oh, and he might die also. So, the GC guy might die. <laughs> Can't ask for much more than that, right? What are you pinging? Oh, never mind. Okay. And here we see Aurora's under mobile shields. And there goes the GC guy. So now we don't even have to worry about that GC that was only a quarter of the way built, because he didn't really actually commit to building the GC, he was just building T3 Mexus. Not exactly sure what was going on there, but Keeper of the Keys has also ejected, and that just leaves Blue Knight. That was a hell of a rush, and that was also a hell of a downfall. All right, Mr. Commander. I'm gonna play it risky all the way out. Oh, well, never mind. ACU's got bombers on him. Oh, Brink has that Iggy fake ass. <laughs> uh, Obsidian spam into a 16 minute GC. Now that's some quality 1300. I was not ever going Obsidian spam. I was kind of counting on the GC dying or me just pulling everything back. You assume too much, good sir. Uh, I need power in a big kind of way. So we're going to build power. And then build more of that. Actually, I really do because Harbingers are going to consume more and more power as the shielding numbers go up. So that could be problematic. Are you really trying to build... Oh, you're building a radar, which is immediately going to die because it's right next to your ACU. Why for you do this thing? It maketh no sense. And there he goes. Yeah, there was no way out of that one, I'm, so, I'm afraid. My back feels good. Really, dude? <laughs> You saved me right at the beginning. Okay, okay. So, to be fair, he did also build tack defense that covered my base. Okay, okay. He might... That might qualify. Maybe. Qualify as a carry. But there was a lot of help. It wasn't a full carry. <laughs> That is going to wrap everything up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and share it with someone. If you want to support the channel, catch the streams, or join the Discord, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for being at least partially insane, and I will see you in the next one.